Hello, my friends. Hello, my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful brothers and sisters in Christ. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Holy Spirit, please be with me. I know you're with me. Fill me. Oh, God. I'm going to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, beautiful, gracious, merciful Father, abounding in love, abounding in grace, abounding in mercy, we love you. We come to you. We ask you to... Pour out your Holy Spirit upon us, Lord. Let us speak nothing but truth to each other and to those that you have put in our path to hear this message. Those whose hearts you have been preparing, Lord, please strengthen us. We are the church. We are one spirit. We are one body. We are one bride in Christ. We are one as you are one with Jesus, whom you sent to die on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins. Dear God, we praise you, and I just ask you and come to you, Lord, pleading, begging on my knees with every ounce of my being of you who created me to please, 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 God, let this be truth, what I'm about to say. I know it is, but I'm asking one more confirmation from you. <laughs> I love you, Lord. In Jesus' beautiful name, amen. Hi, honey. Hi. Oh, I love you. Okay, guys. So... Uh, so, I'm just going to get right into it. <laughs> Can mommy talk to her friends about Jesus just real quick? Yeah. Okay. I got to tell them something very important. Okay. Okay. You need help with that? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Juliana, your kiss just now meant more to me than you know, my dear girl. <laughs> it came at just the most perfect time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. God, God does it. He's going to turn us into fairies. God's going to turn us into fairies and angels? Yeah. Oh, Juliana, how do you know that? Because he can do that. Yes, he can do that, and he will, won't he? Baba, Koa, All of us. Here. Yes. Here, let me, let me talk to my friends, and then we'll talk some more. As if what I was getting ready to tell you wasn't enough. That just happened. Oh, you'll see the significance. My dear brothers and sisters, I know if you're watching this, most of you can feel in your spirit, in our spirit that is one, in our spirit that is from him. His spirit. Oh my gosh, my heart is pounding out of my chest, you guys. It's pounding out of my chest. Whew. Okay, so a few days ago, backstory, I have my one of my best friends, my best friend in this whole world that God has given me as a gift to strengthen me, refine me. She's from England. I live in the United States of America. I met her about 10 years ago. I met her when she was a non-believer and I was backslidden, okay, through our sin. Um, God has just done insane things. I could do a, a 24 hour long video about what God has done for me and in our lives through each other and how he's worked. Oh gosh. Okay. So, um, she had just been kind of lately being bogged down by the world and had taken a break from social media and getting, you know, trying to get centered and focused because she was struggling with a lot of anxiety from everything that the sin of this world, the devil, Satan, the evil one, the serpent of old has been pumping in to all of us. So she hadn't seen my original dream, my original rapture dream video. And I hadn't told her about it yet because I was just kind of praying for God to prepare her heart because it was very heavy because she is a babe in Christ. She believes she sealed her name's written in the book, but she is a babe in Christ. And sometimes when I talk about end times and prophecy, it gets a bit heavy for her. So I, uh, God has just put on my heart to restrain some super heavy stuff and, um, prophecy and end time stuff. And just to continue ministering, ministering to her spirit to keep, God has been using me just to keep her, uh, belief and, um, so she hadn't saw my rapture dream video and I hadn't told her about it. Well, she called me a couple of mornings ago and she said, Christy, I had a dream. I just got to tell you about this. She 
said, in my dream, it was very quick. It lasted only a few seconds, but it was all black with a head with two terrifying eyes and a mouth that had razor sharp teeth. And, sh and these were her words. They were gnashing, 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 gnashing. They were razor sharp. It was a beast. It was a scary beast. <sighs> oh Lord. I love you so much, God. Oh my gosh, my soul just cries out to you, my king. So guys, my friend, she believes just because God has made her a believer, okay? Everything in her upbringing in England, um, her parents, everything, were, were trying to get her to be a non-believer. By his grace, she moved across an ocean and into a place where she found me while I was backslidden. He, his plan is just so perfect. But anyway, in her dream, there was this head. She described it as a beast. Keep in mind, she doesn't really know scripture like, like most of us know it. Okay? She just knows she believes, which is so beautiful. So she told me about this dream, this gnashing of teeth, this beast, these eyes. And I immediately... I immediately, immediately flipped to the scriptures and, and God was like, it's okay to tell her. It's okay to tell her because she has confirmed to you what you and your brothers and sisters are feeling so strongly with the spirit I'm giving you. So she told me about this dream. So I did go ahead and open up the scriptures to her to confirm to her that what she's getting is the truth and that Jesus is very close and that it's time to prepare her heart for that. So that dream was for both of us and it was for all of us watching this. Oh, which even more confirms he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. There's going to be wailing and gnashing of teeth. <laughs> Jesus is coming to get us because that beast is coming. <sighs> so I had to share that with you first and foremost. That was another rapture dream. Not mine. Hers for all of us. And then so ironically that Juliana kissed me on the cheek just now when I was praying to God for this to be truth. He confirms it. Well, praise be to you, my God. So um, a couple months ago when the Corona was first starting, my heart was heavy. I had my dream and, um, and I saw it, I saw the destruction of Babylon the Great. I saw Jesus at the door like a thief in the night, as many of you know that have saw the video. So um, I try to keep, like when my spirit's crying out and I'm just crying in his truth, crying, um, it, just thanking him so much. So I really try to keep that from my kids because I don't want to scare them. So when I'm alone or I have a free second or they're upstairs playing in their room or something like that, you know, I'll just cry out. Well, I was, I was crying. I wasn't crying out loud. I was crying and just in my mind, my spirit was groaning to him. Um, and Juliana came to the top of the stairs out of nowhere. And she said, mommy, God's not coming quite yet. This is exactly what she said to me. Mommy, she stood at the top of the stairs. I was standing at the bottom of the stairs. Mommy, God's not coming quite yet. He still has a lot of work to do. He's still a little bit far away. She said that out of nowhere. We hadn't had any conversations about that. Obviously, I'm not sitting my three-year-old toddler down, okay? Telling her destruction's coming. Call CPS on me if I am, right? So she just appeared. And in that moment, she was an angel. She was an angel of the Lord. She was an angel of the Lord. We know from Abraham, from so many people that God appears to us through angels. And I know she said, mommy, God's not coming quite yet. He's a little bit far away. He still has work to do. She said that. And so um, I was like, oh, honey, baby. So I prayed and prayed and prayed on what she had said and prayed to God and just thanking him because I know that that was him. Here you go, sweet boy. 
I know that was him telling me that I still have work to do through him. He still has believers. He still has this end time when there's a great awakening. He had a lot of work to do. Oh, praise be to him. Praise be to him. My God, my Jesus, my King, my rock, my salvation. Oh, Lord. So she said these things to me. And then today, I have been kind of pacing the floor. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> pacing the floor, just wondering, what, what do I need to say? What do let my videos that I'm posting on my channel be of you? Unless the Holy Spirit is telling me exactly what it needs to be about, then I just kind of don't post it because then it's my will and not his. That's my... That's all me. So I don't, I didn't do one yesterday. I wanted to, but it wasn't clear what it needed to be about. So then this morning, um, I was talking to my friend, Marie, again. We talked about her dream again. We talked about things that are going on, how prophecies are being fulfilled. You guys, prophecies are being fulfilled and things are happening at an alarming rate. They're not just on a monthly basis anymore. They're not just on a weekly basis anymore. It's day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute, almost second by second. Just like his word tells us, like a woman in labor, the, the birth pains are increasing, frequency. It, it, his word is so true, it's so perfect, my friends. What, here, do this, there you go. There you go, oh, here you go. Um. So I'm sitting here praying this morning. God, I know that there's... Oh, I am so sorry. Please, you guys, give me one second. What do you need, my dear? What? Oh, okay. Here, ready? Okay, hold on. Mommy really needs to talk to her. Brian, okay. Here you go. There you go. You're welcome. Okay, so I'm sitting here this morning and I'm praying, praying, praying. What, Lord, what does my video need to be? I know you want me to say something. I know you want to say something through me. So I, I, the dream from my friend hasn't been out of my mind, but it wasn't my dream, so I didn't know if it was mine to give. Now I know he's giving me confirmation. And then the, the thing about Juliana, which ironically, even more perfect. She said that to me. I marked it in my Bible on May 2nd. Almost like God saying, may I have a second? I know you're all ready, but may I have a second? Which even more proves that the time is short, but he is coming a second. If a day is like a thousand years to him, a second is not very long, my friends. Oh, it's so beautiful. We're almost there. We're almost home. We're almost to glory. Oh. And then just now I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying. The dream comes back to my mind. What Juliana said to me at the top of the stairs come to my mind. I'm sitting there and I'm giving them their, their breakfast. And she just looks up at me and she says, Mommy, God's going to make me a little angel. And he's going to make you an angel. And she started naming off all the people that she knows, saying that we're going to be angels. And I said, oh, honey, that's so beautiful. God loves you so much. Jesus loves you so much. How do you know that? She said, he told me in my ear. <laughs> I'm not making this up. I'm not twisting or distorting anything to fit my understanding it's from him and i got confirmation through that and then oh sorry and oh, i'm so sorry you guys this is life but i'm not gonna stop oh, so then here i am i sit down to make a video and i'm praying for him to please please let it be truth and you saw it she kissed me on my cheek that angel kissed me you guys, the time is coming. I hope that this, the reason I wanted to make this was just to confirm what you're all feeling. And now is the time to not be shy, my friends. It's to be bold, to do your calling, to not hold this to yourself, to go out and scream it, to scream it, to, to shout it. Trump Pence, Trump Pence, the trumpet, it's coming. Yesterday I saw from another brother, 
who is so gifted at, um, well, two actually, that are so gifted at, um, God has given them the gift of prophecy and, and wisdom and understanding oh, the end time. And um, uh, Russia just released yesterday their first strike initiative. And don't quote me on this because um, there's just so many things running through my mind. I just know the premise of it. Um, basically, Russia just declared that they're going to pass the law. They're going to use nuclear weapons. Uh, even intelligent information is what they said. Intelligent information. So not, they're basically saying we are going to use nuclear weapons if we even have any intelligent information. Okay, you guys, that threatens our democracy, our 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 economy, and our and, and our military infrastructure. The United States is Mystery Babylon. The United States is Babylon the Great. The United States is the woman in the basket. It's all coming. The War of Gog and Magog in Ezekiel 38 and 39. Those exact three countries that are spoken in that prophecy that God gave to Ezekiel that are going to attack Israel from the north are all in Syria on their southern border, right at the northern border of Israel. You guys, scripture is lining up. We are in birth pains. I could just go on and on. I could just go on and on. Please follow James Smith. Please follow James Smith on YouTube. He gives updates every day. Carve out an hour of your time. Pray for wisdom for the Holy Spirit to help you understand it. He has been given a gift. My brothers and sisters, please Wa uh, subscribe to the Watchman on the Wall 88. <sighs> brothers and sisters, please be encouraged by this and please know that he is coming. He is coming. The world tells you you're crazy. Satan will creep in your mind. You crazy conspiracy theorists. No, he's coming. And our spirit that can all feel it, that we can all feel it, it's true. And he's giving us confirmations every day. I pray that this was a confirmation to you because it certainly is to me. Our blessed hope is so near. Now do your job. Let's do our jobs and shout it from the rooftops. What they do with it is up on them. But let's not hold this to ourselves. We must, we must not fear the rejection or opinion of man, but only of God. And we must shout this out. Thank you for being patient through my dogs barking and my children and everything. I love you all. I hope you know the, how genuine my love for you is. Let's pray. Thank you. That's okay. Dear God, we've come to you to thank you. We know, we know, we know, we know you're near, God. We know you're coming. You love us. You're so faithful. Your word is so true. It's so pure. You are the truth. You are the word. Jesus Christ, you died for us. You died for us on the cross. You made atonement for all of our sins. Lord, you became flesh so that you might be an example for us to see as you tell us in the second chapter of the book of Hebrews so that we can be your brothers. We can be called your family. We are your family. How beautiful. Hallelujah. Praise your name. Lord, instill in us a lack of fear. Instill in us strength. Fill us up with your Holy Spirit. Overflow us, Lord. Make us fearless to go out and do your will in these very, very last times. God, we love you. We love you. We lay our lives down for you. We are dead to this world and alive in you and your son. Bless us, Lord, and please come quickly. Thank you for your confirmations, your mercies. Lord, bless everyone watching this and prepare hearts of those that need to hear it. Please, Lord, I beg you, open hearts. We don't want to see anyone perish as we know you do not. But Lord, the, this world is evil. It's eating up our children. It's eating up souls. And please come get us. Please put an end to it, Lord. Punish those. Ooh, Lord, we love you. We love you. We love you. You are our everything. You are our redeemer. Jesus Christ, son of the living God. We pray in your holy name. Amen. 
my friends, go be bold. Go be bold. Encourage each other. He's coming on the clouds and it's going to be beautiful. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I will see you all soon for an eternity. And I can't wait. <laughs> Sorry for ugly crying. <laughs> God bless you guys. Amen.